Hello everyone. In today's video, we will learn a bit more about the extract, transform and load feature available with Power BI called Power Query. So for example, we've got some data and we want to do some transformation and then load the data into Power BI. We can use Power Query. For example, I've got some data here with me, which is the hourly rate and the hours worked. And I want to know the total salary payable to these employees. So I've got this function here. I've got this data loaded here. So it gives me the hourly rate and the hours worked. And now let's say I want to calculate the total salary. I've already experimented with this, but for our purposes, we'll just uh, rebuild this. So in the Power Query Editor, I'll just click on New Query and uh, click on a blank query. And I will just say that I will pass hours worked as and and this is the syntax where I will say please multiply hours worked with hourly rate and return that value and I can hit enter. And it's just telling me that these are the parameters that will be passed and then invoke. So we'll just go back to the employee table now where we've got the data. And then we'll go to add column and click on invoke. So we've already created the function and we will invoke that function. So we'll just say invoke custom function. And we will call this total salary payable and we will invoke. So we created query one and we will say, we will pass the hourly rate and we will pass. So we have to say that we are going to pass on values from the table. So that's why we've selected that and we're saying for each row, multiply the hourly rate and the hours worked and return that value. And you can see 39 into 60 and so it calculates the salary payable and then we can just go home and say close and apply and this data becomes available to us. We can look at this data. So in this video, we learned how to invoke a custom function in Power Query and transform our data, create calculated columns. We could also do a trimming of uh, fields or build multiple functions and then play around with the data and get the data in the required desirable format. I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video.